was kind of how we decided to go with the yeah. fuel crest. We, we knew the Olivia wasn't quite big enough for what we wanted, but the fuel crest met those, similar. you know, it was very similar. A few years ago, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Um, I don't have any deficits or anything now, but uh, in the future, we don't know what the future brings. Um, this had a first floor master. So this layout allowed for us to have everything we needed on the first floor. And we entertain a lot. It was an open concept. We have a big family. We don't have children of our own yet, but it's in the future. Right. So we needed extra bedrooms. So we just planned ahead. Um, it's a good space that locked upstairs, nice for a playroom or for kids, whatever. Um, so that'll be like the kids space later on, but to have everything on this first floor was perfect for now and future. So. Yeah. It's great for our daily life because we have our master bedroom on the first floor. My office is on the first floor. The laundry is on the first floor. Yeah. But when you look outside of our home, we have that large second, second floor concept. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what we were going for. Um, but we wanted our daily life to kind of happen on that first floor. And that mm -hmm. second floor was just for additional living, for expanding our family. I think our biggest thing was we, um, our last home we bought. And I think when you're shopping for homes, no matter what home you're looking at, there is something in that home. Oh, I have to remodel this kitchen or oh, I like everything in it, but I hate that bathroom. So there's always something that is going to be a project for you. Um, and we did lots of projects in our last home, uh, which is fun, but uh, I think you get into them. You don't realize how much there is to do. Um, you also don't realize we had an older home, uh, you know, things that you find behind walls and crazy stuff. But um, so we decided to build because we knew this house would be exactly how we wanted it. I can move in day one and not have to remodel a kitchen or remodel a bathroom. Everything's exactly how we pictured it, what we picked out from the colors to the doorknobs. A few different builders. A few. Yeah. Um, yeah <laughs> more than a handful. Yeah. Um, and like she said earlier, every home is going to have something that you you point out that it isn't exactly the way you want it to be. Um, and every builder, there seemed to be something within every floor plan, you know, maybe I don't like that floor plan, or I don't like that their um, standard is laminate countertop. I'm going to have to upgrade that. Um, and then we heard about Schumacher and we, we went to the Lewis Center location. And as soon as we saw the Olivia, I mean, it was instant. That was yeah. the exact home we I wanted. There yeah. wasn't a single thing within that Olivia model that I, yeah. that we would have changed. It yeah. was absolutely the way that we wanted and yeah. we fell in love from day one. We walked into several um, other model homes from other companies. And like he said, I'd walk into a room and I'm like, mm, I like this room, but I really don't like this about it. And, or we, we went to a few where we're like, they're asking this much money and it has laminate countertops. Like this is crazy. Home was huge to us. We went to so many different ones and Schumacher had better countertops, like their basic things that already come with the home that comes with that price you see were already included where other places it was upgrades. So it was just nice that their standard was higher end. So that was, mm -hmm. that, that was really why we chose it. And their model homes just outdid everyone else. Yeah. I, I couldn't stress enough for anybody that's looking into Schumacher to go see a model home. Mm -hmm. The model homes will tell you a story. It's exactly the way you want it to be. And you'll fall in love immediately. Mm -hmm. you, you couldn't go wrong. Yep. This <laughs> room right behind me. Yeah. This, this is where we spent most of our money. Uh, we put in the fireplace. We uh, added some accents to the fireplace. Mm -hmm. We added a coffered ceiling. Um, we added the wall of windows. Um, so, when you're designing your home, don't be afraid to, to customize. I mean, get a feel for what you actually want and yeah. look at the price tag, maybe do some budgeting because we spent a lot of nights sitting down and going through numbers. Okay, maybe we can yeah. add this in, we can take this out. Right. So to have this big open room where people aren't crowded in a tiny living room or when everyone's over to watch high state football, no one's shoulder to shoulder trying to cheer on, you know, your Buckeyes and all that. So, you know, that was important to us to have a big room that we could really have people over. And it's, that's definitely my favorite part of the whole room. We have the wall of windows. So the natural light during the daytime is amazing. And we have woods back there. So in the winter, it looks pretty when it snows. In the fall, it's gorgeous. In the summer, it's full and private. 
So that room is we spend almost all our time there. And then, like he said, the bedroom is nice too, but I think the great room is definitely my favorite. But just know you're going to do what you can do within your budget. Schumacher is going to do it right. They're going to do it with good quality. They're going to do it in a timely fashion and you're going to love it. So it's just important to sit down with whoever you're building with and say, these are the top things that I want. I absolutely have to have these things. And if that means cutting out a few other small things, then so be it. So, I mean, I think whoever you're building with communicate well and Schumacher was really good with walking us through each process. If I had a question, I asked it immediately and they always had an answer, so.